Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll explain what allow my organization to manage my device means, and how to prevent your organization from managing your device. With more and more businesses allowing employees to bring their own devices into the workplace, organizations are having to manage those devices to ensure safety and security. But what happens if you accidentally click allow my organization to manage my device? Exactly how much control does your organization have? And what can they see? We'll answer those questions and more in this video. The capabilities your organization has when you enroll your device will depend on whether they're using basic mobility and security or Microsoft Intune. Here you can see that Microsoft Intune offers your organization far greater control over your device, and it can also control Mac operating systems. Let's take a look at what some of these features mean. Perhaps the most important feature that users will want to look at is remote actions. Both basic mobility and Microsoft Intune give organizations the ability to perform a factory reset on your device. That's a lot of control and well worth considering. You might also wonder what your organization can see in your device. They can see device name, management name, ownership, serial number, primary user, enrolled by, compliance, operating system and version, device model, device manufacturer, last check-in time, storage space, and discovered apps. Your organization can't see phone records, personal data, photos, text messages, or browsing history. If you want to prevent your organization from managing your personal device, you can do so by following these steps. First, open your office web portal by clicking the link in the description. Once there, go to apps and devices in the left menu. Then click on the down arrow next to devices. To finish, click sign out next to the device you want to sign out of. That's all for this video. We hope this was helpful. Be sure to check the description for more links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.